Good morning from Lake Ohrid, North Macedonia. We have just left the old town and we're actually leaving Lake Ohrid today to go and check out a brand new town. And that town is Struga. I think it's about a 20 minute bus ride there. We're not certain where to get the bus from. The town of Struga is somewhat dismissed a bit by international tourists as Lake Ohrid is the number one tourist destination in the country. But Struga actually sits on the lake itself and has a lot of rich history, I believe. So I think it's somewhere you shouldn't miss out and at least do a day trip there. We have made it to the bus stop. We found it, it's on the main road and how long do you reckon that took us? 10 minutes? Possibly uh, a 10 minute long. walk. Uh, all we got to do is make sure that the bus that does come is the right one that goes to Suga. And we have made it on the bus to Struga. I say bus, it's more like a minivan. Um, you would not know it's coming, it's not like a typical public bus there. It's basically, it's basically a Fergon, um, but I think it's about 20 minutes to get there and it cost 50 each. It's very nice and spacious though. Um, it's only about four people on. <laughs> I don't even think the locals know that this is the bus. Thank you. And we have made it to the town of Struga. That was really good. It took about 20 minutes going all through the residential areas. First impressions of it here, it feels a lot more local. The first thing that we noticed when walking through Struga town is this, which is the Independence Monument. It takes centre stage in Struga Square. It's commemorating the 300 lives that were lost during World War II and they were from Struga but there was also thousands of other victims that it's commemorating who lost their lives they were from Macedonia uh, but it literally look at it it takes center stage here um, and it's just a really nice way to remember those I can't read what it says but people clearly still come here and lay flowers for those that have fallen which I think is really really nice from the monument you come to one of the many bridges that crosses the river Drini and it actually leads up to the bazaar and we're going to go around and have a little shop we've actually spotted they've got a huge shopping mall here and on top of the shopping mall is a rooftop bar that overlooks the river and if you come here you really need to have a drink or something to eat on the river I can't believe there's such a huge modern mall here look at it it really doesn't fit does it, it just on the edge of the crazy. bazaar and look at how big it is and it's a 360 view this this is actually where a lot of people from Orid will come to do their shopping as well. Little yeah, fact. huge shopping mall. Can we shop? We can go, no, there's a bar. They sell <laughs> beer at the rooftop. No shopping. This just does not fit with the sort of oldish town of Struga, but I suppose a fancy tourists. rooftop bar yeah, fancy with a rooftop. lift. It feels like you're going up the Burj. <laughs> Oops, is it too early for a beer? What is the time? It is. Oh, to be fair, it's fine. It's, it's gone twelve. It's gone, if it's 12. gone twelve. We're all right. Um, this is really, really nice. So this is literally a 360 view of Struga. We've got the mountains this side. You've got the river Drin down here. You've got the square and the town. And then over that way, you can see a glimpse of the lake. But we'll have a look at that later. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely recommend Sky Drini. Really, really good spot if you want panoramic views of the town of Struga. We're now walking up the main high street, which again I didn't expect has all your modern shops on the hunt for the old bazaar. At the end of the high street is the old bazaar and right now we are walking through the fruit, the vegetables. It all so looks much. so good, there's so much here. I'm more excited to get around to, I think possibly looks like maybe bags, clothes and souvenirs. Oh, of course you really are. Nice. Of course, <laughs> course you are. Of course you want to go shopping. Look how big so this is. Fruit here. And it's inside. It's not like an old bazaar. It's, it's a, a pumpkin? grey pumpkin. I've never seen one like that. This is definitely the section Molly wanted to come to. You can get everything. You can get your bags, you can get your trainers, you can get your belts, you can get pretty much anything you want down here. You can get, I'm not sure if it really is Nike, but, but you can get it. It's actually quite a small bazaar. That side, it has your fruit and veg. This side, it has your clothing, your jewelry, anything you want.
walking back up further from the bazaar as we're heading towards Lake Ori, we come across this bridge and it looks, we've, I think there's about three bridges here in the uh, town, but this one looks the oldest and we came up to it and it actually said it was donated and built in 2016. I really like the way they've made it look really, really traditional. You can see all the restaurants and bars on the river here. And further up behind me is the road to Lake Ochrid, which actually feeds into the river. This bridge even has its own love lock area. You didn't get me a padlock though, did you? Our padlock is on Prague. <laughs> oh Prague, yeah, it's Charles on Prague. Brick, Prague. If you get it at another bridge, it doesn't. It, it uh, ruins it. Validates it, it, doesn't it, it, it. It breaks. Crazy How nice is this place? Place. It reminds me of. It is a beach bar, beach it's a restaurant. Beach bar, beach club. Look, the sand right there. There's fake sand. <laughs> um, it has its own little promenade as well. We're under like a little wooden hut. It makes me feel very tropical. Um, but we've got Scopsco. I haven't even poured it yet. That is. Yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm pouring it right now. This place is crazy though, and it's massive. It's on its own private beach, and it's called Versus. It has Versus Beach. And versus bar and restaurant. I can't believe how cold it is on the lakefront. It looks, you'll, you'll watch this video and be like, why are they wearing a coat? <laughs> it's actually really, really cold. Oh, thank oh, you very thank much. You. As you walk along the River Drin, you'll actually notice that they're doing a lot of works here um, and they've actually blocked the dam. Normally the water from Lake Ored will flow through into the river, but they've blocked it completely so they can do the work. So I was quite surprised why it was like so empty in the river. <laughs> this place is lovely, isn't it? It's like a little hidden gem. It really is. You, you wouldn't gem. expect it. If you come to the town of Struga, it's quite, I don't know, it's very local, uh, quite harsh. Yeah. But then you come here and you've got a beach club. Look, you've got. You've got your surfboards, you've got your sand, you've it's got your cabana. It's such a shame that we can't be in our like bikinis and shorts yeah, sitting on the little beach. It's a little bit too cold for that. That was actually really nice in there. Did not expect it in the town of Strugart to find a beach club. Proper hidden gem. Little hidden gem. And we actually got, we ended up getting two <laughs> bruschetta pizzas. Like one was enough. It was so good that we thought we'd get a second. We're but now- It's also really good value. Sorry before yeah. you say that. It's really good value for where you were sitting and for the establishment. It was really nice. Yeah, it was really good. I need to pull this down a little bit. There's no one near us, don't <laughs> worry. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not going to get fined. Um, we're now on the hunt for the bus back. I say bus, minivan back. Um, we don't even know if it comes down here. Yeah, we're on the main road. So, fingers, it's a clue. I highly recommend Versus. If you're coming to Struga, you probably won't. Foreign tourists don't come to Struga. Hopefully, if you I've do. seen. Yeah, <laughs> Versus is the place to be. Thank you. So we decided, well, not decided, we ended up getting a taxi back because you'll actually notice in and around Orid and the towns near it, there'll be taxis waiting at the bus stops and they will offer you the exact same price as the bus to get in a taxi because it'll be a share of taxi and they hope on the journey they'll be able to pick up more people. So they're basically gambling. They either win if they get a full taxi or they probably break even if they don't get a full taxi. But it's another good thing to get if you are staying in the Orid area is to do the share of taxis to places. You'll save a lot of money. We are back, we are showered and we are dressed ready to go out. But we really, really liked Struga. Um, the best way to describe it would be that it is very raw, very local. It has things set up for tourists. We really enjoyed it and we really enjoyed Versus as well. Having a little private beach and sitting and drinking beers is always a good sign. But if you are in Orid or in North Macedonia, we, we would definitely recommend to check it out just for a day trip. We are going out to watch football tonight, but we're not going to bring the camera with us because if Chelsea lose, Matt won't end the video. So it's on me tonight. Um, we're going to have a few beers as always and we'll see you tomorrow.